the universe is so perfectly made and everything so perfectly matches together that there must be God. So in one second I went from certainty there is no God to certainty there must be God and only one God. But I was not looking for a religion. I thought all religions are wrong. But I didn't want to stay ignorant about religions. And I bought the Quran, English translation of the Quran. And when I started reading it, I started reading it with the same idea that just like Bible, it was written by man. Only in this case we know the name of the man, Muhammad. And then when I was maybe about one third in Quran, I remember telling my wife, you know, this Muhammad, he must have been a very smart, very intelligent man because this book is very clear, very logical, very easy to follow and there are no contradictions. But then as I read later, I suddenly saw a scientific fact which I knew was only discovered in the 20th century. So immediately I saw that Muhammad is not the author of the Quran, that Muhammad is a messenger sent by God to give the Quran to mankind. Professor Keith Moore is one of the world's prominent scientists in the fields of anatomy and embryology. In 1984, he received the most distinguished award presented in the field of anatomy in Canada. Intensive studies of the Quran and Hadith in the last four years have revealed a system for classifying human embryos that is amazing since it was recorded in the 7th century AD. As far as it is known from the history of embryology, little was known about the staging and classification of human embryos until the 20th century. For this reason, the descriptions of the human embryo in the Quran cannot be based on scientific knowledge in the 7th, 7th century. The only reasonable conclusion is that these descriptions were revealed to Muhammad from God. observing the sky with a telescope, Edwin Hubble, the American astronomer, discovered that the stars and galaxies were constantly moving away from each other. A universe where everything constantly moves away from each other implied a constantly expanding universe. means that the universe is expanding and that concept forms the basis of the Big Bang Theory. Calculations show that this single point that harbored all the matter of the universe should have zero volume and infinite density. The universe had come about by the explosion of this single point with zero volume. of seven strata. The fact that the Earth is made up of such strata was only known as the result of lengthy research using 20th century technology. salt water from the sea.
Einstein said, science without religion is lame and religion without science is blind. Not a single person will be able to prove a single verse of the Quran in conflict with established modern science. These facts could only have been revealed to Muhammad by the one who knows all about us, not only about how we develop, but how we live and function. Like that tomorrow. I have no difficulty in my mind reconciling that this is a divine inspiration, or revelation, or something that is not human. Because I think that this is a divine inspiration. If they are no good or whatever, I'm going to find out for myself. I started thinking 1.2 billion Muslims. Shaitan is good, but he's not that. To deceive 1.2 billion people. So I'll look at this, this Quran and I'll see what it is. I started reading the Quran. I read it completely all the way through the first time. It was unbelievable. Everything started to fall in place. Everything made sense. 